20 years after Robert Spiller had challenged him in that small classroom at Swarthmore, Jim Michener had finally found his inspiration. After the war, Michener returned to Macmillan Publishing. Tales of the South Pacific uh, was released in 1947, and it was not well examined by critics. In other words, it was not uh, necessarily a book that got a lot of promotion. But then the book won the admiration of Alice Longworth Roosevelt, daughter of former President Teddy Roosevelt and respected member of Washington Political Society. She had never met me, but she read my first book. And when the time came to award the Pulitzer Prize, she went to the judges, all of whom she knew, and she said, you know, you're overlooking the best book of the year. And the judges told me none of them had ever heard of the book. She said, you've got to go home and read it. Mm. And on the basis of her recommendation and forth, mm. uh, I got the Pulitzer Prize, which was the start of my writing career. This comes completely as a surprise to him. So he is speechless, speechless. Just as his college education lifted him out of a life of poverty and disgrace, winning the Pulitzer Prize elevated Michener to a level few writers ever attain. And he kept his steady job until a year later when he decided through the encouragement of his new agent, Helen Strauss, at the William Morris Agency, that he could successfully break away from publishing and establish a freelance career. Although he was still afraid of failure, Jim Michener walked away from the financial security of his editor's desk and committed himself to a career in writing. 